Hi, and welcome to Kidney Plugged In. Today's episode proudly highlights the Kidney Foundation's Kidney Community Kitchen. And the Kidney Community Kitchen is a website dedicated to sharing renal-friendly recipes for persons living with kidney disease. And one of the Kidney Community Kitchen chefs, Chris Godette, is here and has a variety of renal-friendly recipes to share. From falafel wraps to turkey sliders, from Korean-style whitefish to French grated carrot salad, we'll show you how to make all of these delectable dishes and more. So get ready, because some mouth-watering, renal-friendly recipes are coming your way next, right here on Kidney Plugged In. So what is Kidney Community Kitchen? It's a dedicated website full of renal recipes for persons living with kidney disease. If caught early, chronic kidney disease may be able to be managed, and this would help to delay or prevent kidney failure and reduce the risks of other complications. And diet is a considerable aspect of the management of kidney disease. The goal of the Kidney Community Kitchen is to empower its users through information and resources so that they can take ownership of their condition and manage kidney disease to the best of their ability. Kidney Community Kitchen aims to make food and cooking as easy and fun as possible for a population that's been told many foods are off limits. Kidney Community Chef Chris Godet is here to share with you a variety of creative and delectable kidney-friendly recipes that are tried and true from his own kitchen. And Chris Godet should know because he himself is a kidney patient currently on dialysis. Hello, my name is Chris Godet. At the age of 18, I was diagnosed with IJ nephropathy. Um, that was seven years ago. Um, I had a kidney transplant. Uh, today, I'm on dialysis. Um, in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I'm also a chef here in the city um, with my background of cooking and uh, also with uh, the kidney side of things. I wanted to volunteer my time with the Kidney Foundation. I'd like to share recipes, video content, uh, things like that to really help people out and to know that you're not alone in this. It's, uh, it's, it's a team effort, okay, and so I'm really looking forward to it. I um, hope you are too um, and have a great day. Thank you. Hi everyone. My name is Chris Cadet. I'm the chef for the Kidney Foundation of Canada. Today we're going to be making a warm falafel wrap. Very healthy. Um, can be used for lunch or supper. Um, either or. It can be served with a garden salad, fruit salad, uh, double boiled french fries, anything like that. Uh, really good, healthy, plant-based option. So, we are going to start with the chickpeas. So there's 400 grams of chickpeas that go in the food processor. Okay. We are also going to add a quarter of an onion. So these are chopped. Um, they just go right in. The garlic cloves as well. They go in whole, peeled whole, just go right in there. Uh, same with the parsley, okay? This is 10 grams of parsley. That goes in. The recipe will be available as well, so. Don't worry about the, uh, the measurements and all that. We uh, will have the recipe for you. Then, the harissa paste, or you can use sriracha, chili flakes, anything to give it a kick. Um, totally optional. Of course, if you don't like spice, by all means, you can leave that out. So the one teaspoon of coriander and the one teaspoon of cumin goes in there. Wonderful fragrant spices. That all goes in there. As well as flour, okay? This helps to bind everything together. 
Um, it'll help, so, you know, it'll help product not crumble so much. So, add a couple teaspoons first. <clears throat> then you're gonna pulse it, okay, until it binds. You don't want it pureed smooth. You want it a bit chunky to have a bit of texture. The last ingredient that goes in it will be tahini. So tahini is a sesame seed paste, basically. Um, really nice flavor, really nice smell to it. Really earthy, mommy flavors. So that'll go in there. Okay. Then, just some lemon juice. Okay, half of a lemon. Squeeze that in there. So again, you're gonna pulse it. Okay, if it sticks to the side, that's fine. Just open that up. Put that down. Just like so. there now, nice and ready. Take this mixture, and you want to mix, put it in a mixing bowl. Take the frying pan, put it on medium, should be okay. Okay, we're gonna heat that up. Then we're gonna take our olive oil and heat that up, okay? So heat this up. Then what we want to do is create some patties, okay? So we can stuff the tortilla or the pita. So what I've done with the pita is I've cut this in half, and then I've taken off a little strip from one of the sides. So when we take it, we want to put the small one in there, Okay, stop it. And then that gives you more of a durable shell to work with. And then you stuff it with, you know, your patties, all the garnishes that will come with it. So that'll be ready to go. So if you want to get this out, take your hands, get in there, create some patties. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Want to get them round. Okay. Probably around that size. Okay, just a small little patty. Go right in there. I would do four. Um, uh, two is plenty for one. Again, this recipe calls for two people. So you'll have plenty, plenty left over. All right. So 
belts here. I'm just gonna go wash my hands and I'll continue. Okay, so we are just going to flip these patties. Okay. Like so. I've turned the heat down to low. And we'll just get that cooked through. While that's cooking, we are going to chop some garlic and make a aioli for the dressing. So you want to chop the garlic fairly fine. So this is basically mayonnaise, with chopped up garlic, and a little bit of skim milk to dilute it. So it can be drizzled right on top of the wrap. Okay. That's done. This will go in our bowl. Mayonnaise, then skim milk in there. Our garlic. That half of lemon that we had, we're going to zest it and then juice it in the aioli. So we'll just use a bit of zest. Squeeze that juice right out. Okay. Our patties are almost done. Uh, I might turn the stove off or the, the burn off. Um, so they're just sitting there. Staying warm, the way we like it. And now, it's time to serve. So, take your pita, like I said, take the smaller one, and then just put it right in that pocket there, okay? Let it double it up. You want to take your patty, put it in there, okay? Then you can do anything with it, okay? So here we have our some Sliced red onions, okay, very finely chopped red onions. Uh, some Boston lettuce, this is really nice. Um, I love this. You can get this anywhere, okay, it's just a local grocery, a local smart grocery department. So then, what you want to do is just stuff this, okay, with this lettuce. Red onions in there, sliced red onions. And you can add sliced cucumbers, you can add really anything to it. Aioli, okay. 
name. So just want to add that to that. There we go. Warm falafel wrap, really healthy, uh, you know, vegan, without the aioli, of course, uh, with a bit of milk in there. Um, but again, very simple, very healthy, plant-based. Um, you can do it, anyone on uh, dialysis or with anyone with uh, kidney disease, uh, I know what you're going through. Um, I've had a transplant before, and um, I'm on dialysis right now, so I know the difficulty um, of cooking especially. So I'm here to help, and hopefully we can do a lot more of these uh, cooking shows, um, and maybe in class, uh, cook. Can you imagine losing most of something without realizing it? Over time, kidney disease can destroy up to 80% of kidney function before you notice any symptoms. Talk to your family doctor to see if you're at risk and need to be screened. It could save your life. that helps you turn. <laughs> mm, I don't know, to be honest. They don't know kidneys are vital, do you? Get the facts at kidney.ca.
everybody. Welcome to Kidney March Expo 2021. My name is Joyce Van Dersen and I'm the Executive Director of the Kidney Foundation of Canada's Southern Alberta Branch and Saskatchewan Branch. Expo is absolutely one of my favorite things about Kidney March because it's when we really all start coming together and getting ready for the current year of Kidney March. Hi there, I'm Leonard Blocka from Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. And this is my second year in the Kidney March and the second year to do it virtually. Hi Kidney March family, Tanya here. Our team has been part of Kidney March for nine years now. We started off as only four of us and have now grown to a team of 32. Hi, my name is Wayne Freer. This is my granddaughter, Abby Wright. We're from Team Living on Love down in Sarnia, Ontario on Blue Water Land. We, uh, are going to be participating in Kidney March 2021 again this year. This will be our fourth year. Hi everyone, Kilometer Bomber here, bombing Calgary Pathways, creating awareness for Kidney March and kidney disease. It was four years ago when I crossed the Kidney March finish line for the first time that I was left inspired by the community, the people, the stories, and the event. I shall see you out there. Let's get marching. Some key important parts to keep in mind about Kidney March. We have the start date of Kidney March. We've got the final three days of Kidney March, the 10th, 11th, and 12th. And just before that, we've got day zero. That's the final day of check-in and preparation for Kidney March. That will be on September 9th this year. So don't forget that. Put these dates in your calendar. And also we ha will be having the Kidney March alumni reunion. Let's take a look at some of the Kidney March items that we have available for you to purchase this year. Have a look. If you haven't already registered for Kidney March, go to kidneymarch.ca. The registration button is there. So is the opportunity to check out other people's pages and uh, make a donation if you want to, or be inspired to create your own page.
to all the car donations made to the Kidney Car Program, the Kidney Foundation of Canada can help all these people with kidney disease. Those donations are instrumental in providing them with care and invaluable support. When you give your car to the Kidney Car Program, it will be towed for free and recycled or resold. You'll also receive a tax receipt of at least $300. To continue to improve the quality of life of thousands of patients, we need your car today. You'll see on the recipe that it says chiffonade basil. I'm going to go ahead and show you actually how to do that. Um, this is a great skill to have to garnish any dish, whether it's um, chicken or fish or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that for you. So you can see that our mint leaves are piled just one on top of the other, okay? They're layered like that. What you're gonna do next is start rolling, okay? So just roll it up, so it looks like that. And take your knife and then just chop up, okay? Small strips. Now you want your knife to be just at your, by your knuckles, okay? So it looks like that. This way you're not going to cut yourself and you can keep going, okay? Like that. And then you have your little strips. Garnish whatever you want with. 